Hey guys, well, you know, because of COVID and supply chain issues, it's been a really long time since we last got an Adabox. It's been a huge Adabox drought, um, but they're finally back and that's so exciting. I've got my latest Adabox right here. Um, I've actually had it for a couple weeks now um, because in order to mitigate the supply chain issues, they started sending them out early. Um, I think the official um, debut for the Adabox is gonna be later this month. Um, and so I didn't mind that I didn't get around to opening it yet. Um, but now we're going to open it up. So uh, if you want to wait for the official unboxing from Adafruit, just um, wait a little bit, um, another week or so. Uh, otherwise, um, there's going to be all sorts of spoilers inside. So uh, what I'm going to start off by doing is just taking off the cover. And we've got this really cool... Uh, page here. Uh, it says Memento, and there's a whole bunch of different types of cameras. That's exciting. I'm a huge camera buff. I've been, um, I've had my own camera since I was about five years old. It says, wake up, sleepyhead. Stretch, yawn, and rub your eyes. For Adabox has awoken from hibernation and lumbered into your hands. See, just as I said before. Uh, after many years of part shortages, we finally got enough parts to ship out thousands of Ada boxes that have been patiently waiting. This special Ada box is all about making memories, which is why it's called Memento. It's a digital camera you can build and program yourself. That's so cool! That's exciting! Um, this camera is built around an OV5640 sensor with 72 degree lens. 5 megapixel. 5 megapixel! Okay, so the first, <laughs> the first um, digital camera I had was a Kodak camera. I'm pretty sure it was like 1.3 megapixel and it was able to take pictures all the way up to, you know, about uh, an 8 by 10, you know, you can print it out. So this is pretty exciting. Look how much technology has come. And that was like about 2002. So in 12 years. Um, autofocus and charming low fidelity aesthetic. All right. So it's probably going to be kind of more like a, um, a uh, Holga. Remember when those were in about 10 years ago? Um, we use Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capable ESP32 uh, S3. That's the first time we'll be working with one of those. Uh, and plenty of PS RAM to power it. Preview images on the 1.54 inch color TFT. That's pretty cool. Snap photos to be saved onto an SD micro SD card. You can punch up your pics with a built-in RGBW LED ring for colorful effects or natural. Okay, so it kind of has like built-in flash. This is, wow. Okay, so, you know, um, they have the um, glasses um, I actually just put those away. That was the last Ada box we got uh, around Halloween time. I didn't make an unboxing video for it. Um, in fact, I'm going to throw those on for a quick second here. So I just pulled the uh, power to these guys, so they're not going to light up, but we've got a um, sensor here, and you can have it light up in all kinds of different ways. And so that was the last one we got. Um, and usually they're, you know, they're kind of toy-like in that way but now we've got an actual digital camera. That's that's exciting. I mean, I wonder if we've just reached a level where um, technology has improved so much that these Ada boxes are gonna start getting less toy-like and more like creating real things. Um, thanks to DigiKey for being our muse and technical assistant. We worked so hard to provide Ada box over the last year. They provided the parts, advice, and feedback that made this box picture perfect. And of course, thanks for your patience. It's a box of the labor of love. We're excited to get back. You know what? I'm excited that you're able to come back. I love Adafruit. I love all the products they make. I love, um, you know, how they help get people into building uh, microcontrollers with microcontrollers. Uh, we have many more boxes planned and in progress, and we know you'll enjoy opening them as much as we enjoy designing them. Uh, Lady Ada, PT, and Kiddo. So, what have we got in here? We've got the Adafruit Memento, a DIY digital camera, as with all the things we said before. Um, it's got a mini speaker. That's kind of interesting. Interface buttons. Wow. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm super excited. I can't wait. I wait. I can't believe I waited two weeks to open this. Um, the front plate and JST cable. Um, protective back plate and hardware kit. Uh, lithium polymer battery and foam adhesive to make your camera portable. Uh, 256 megabyte micro SD card. Store hundreds, if not thousands, of photos and GIFs on this tiny card. Uh, protective neoprene case and a posable figurine. Cool, this is exciting. Let's get this box opened up. All right, 
So, I'm going to open up our Ada box. A lovely Ada box tissue paper. <gasps> oh, I've already got one of these guys, so now I've got another one, a little posable dude. Here's our battery. Here's the flash with a bunch of uh, NeoPixels. Here's the camera itself. Here's the protective case, it's so cute. I can't wait to build this. I'm not gonna build this on camera, but this is so exciting. It, I feel like um, this was made just for me. Um, I think after I build it, I'll do a little video showing what it looks like and um, maybe uh, show some of the cameras I'll take maybe of this little dude or of my family. We'll see. Awesome. All right, so I finally got the uh, camera assembled. This is what it looks like all assembled. It's very neat. Um, I took a couple pictures. I'll add those uh, in post. Um, the first one I took, uh, the lights were off. It was just kind of the um, light of the um, monitors. And it's the this little guy that came with the Ada box. And uh, it was like 240 by 240. And then I took another picture of him with the lights on, a picture of Scarlett who helped me assemble the camera. Uh, those were at uh, 1920 by 1080, basically the HD. Um, they look a bit weird. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just because it's low light in here. I'm not sure if that's the Holga-like aesthetic or if it's just not meant to do pictures that high. Like it lets you go up to that resolution, but it's really just um, interpolating or something. And uh, you'll see exactly what I mean. But uh, either way, this is a really awesome uh, Ada box, and I plan to play with this quite a bit and, and um, have some different kind of photos, a little different than something like my uh, uh, my Rebel. <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoyed uh, this unboxing, and uh, as well as the official one that uh, will either be happening the night I'm recording this conclusion or in a couple days soon. All right, see you.